Hey friends, how's everybody doing? It's Nick with Urban Farm Boys. I am so tired today. I had to come on and make a video though because I got a little bit of a shipment uh, of new crochet hooks from Clover Amour and I just wanted to show them to you guys but more importantly I've learned something over the last couple of months that I thought was really actually important to share with you guys and it has to do with crochet hook sizes and how they might be completely inaccurate. I found that out the hard way although luckily I wasn't too deep into the hard way so I had to talk to you guys about it because nobody's talking about this and there's like a huge problem happening here. So I leave the house, I wake up at 4 in the morning, I leave at 5, and I usually get home around 8 p.m. Um, I'm very pooped, but my hooks came in, and I just wanted to tell you guys what I found out. So, if you're into crochet hooks and all things crochet, stay tuned, because I'm about to blow your mind, as my mind was blown. So, first of all, I've been crocheting furiously all winter. I started in probably like November. I did know a little bit about crochet before. I've crocheted occasionally on and off kind of my whole life. I've maybe made a few blankets. I'm almost 40, so in 40 years I've maybe made like three projects. <clears throat> but I've, it's been an obsession since November. And when I started, I didn't want to invest a lot of money, right? So I actually had some of these cheap, like this multi-pack of crochet hooks. This one still happens to be in the package. I don't, I probably got it on Amazon. And I've had them for a long time. Um, there's tons of different brands that have these metal colored crochet hooks. So I just decided to continue using those. That's the only thing I've ever used. I bought um, like cheap yarn. I just wanted to start some projects without a lot of initial investment. Um, and I've fallen down the rabbit hole since then. But as I've been watching more videos about crochet on YouTube and watching a lot of you guys, if anyone who makes crochet videos is watching, um, I decided I kind of wanted to upgrade slowly. And it seems like um, the Clover Amour hooks are very popular with people. So one of the first projects I started was just to make regular old granny squares. Um, I got this harebrained idea that I would make a granny square blanket that's 200 squares, 10 across by 20 down, and it's still on the agenda and I'm still having a bunch of fun with it. In fact, I'm gonna make another progress update video on that soon. So if this kind of thing interests you, please subscribe to the channel. It should be up in the next week or so. So I was using cheap yarn. This is um, loops and threads from Michaels, very affordable. And I was using a, do I have it here? Six millimeter crochet hook. Um, it works perfectly. This is exactly the size that I want, the kind of shape that I crochet sort of tight. It naturally have kind of tight tension. So this is exactly the look that I was going for. And everything was working great and I was doing a bunch of other projects. And then I decided I wanted to upgrade. And Clover Amour hooks seemed like the best place to start. Um, they're a little pricey, six, seven, eight dollars each. So I thought, well, let me just buy one the six millimeter. So I bought the one. Unfortunately, they're all really brightly colored, but I got the poop brown one. Six millimeters is poop brown. So that was a little boring. <laughs> but I have to say I was instantly converted. It's so much smoother. I like the soft grip handle. Uh, I was instantly sold. I really, really, really like these. And for like six, seven dollars, if you've got one hook that you're using, I would absolutely recommend you buy one. I don't really have a problem with these metal guys because it's the only type of hook I've ever used, but this is definitely a nicer experience. You don't get as much like movement. I think I move tend to move my yarn quite a bit on my hooks, and with these you kind of bump into that pad. So it's a little bit of a different feel, but infinitely better for six, seven, eight dollars. So a lot of the projects I've been working on have been with this um, Loops and Threads 
from Michael's using a six millimeter crochet hook. But I've also been working on a few projects with this um, Lion Brand Respun Thick and Quick, 100% recycled yarn. I'm obsessed. I have a couple of other videos I can link below where I kind of reviewed these yarns and you can see some of the projects I've done with them. Um, unfortunately, I'm working on a blanket now with this color for Andrew that he has informed me he doesn't like. He doesn't like the color or the feel of it. I'm glad he told me now rather than when it was finished. So I'm going to scrap that project and figure out something else to do with my yarn. But anyway, this is a much thicker yarn and I've been using a 10 millimeter crochet hook for that one. So again, I got my 10 millimeter trusty metal crochet hook and I decided also to order a 10 millimeter crochet hook from Clover Amour. What I didn't realize was that the six millimeter and many of the most, maybe all of the smaller hooks or metal, but the larger sizes are plastic. And I did see some reviews, sorry I have to do that stupid hand thing for it to focus. Um, I did see some reviews, maybe it won't focus, saying that the plastic ones were a little bit squeaky. Uh, which isn't really what I found. I like this hook a lot too. So cool. Oh, let's transition, right? I had switched over for the smaller yarn. Let's transition. So uh, the green blanket for Andrew, I call it the big baby, baby blanket because he's really tall, um, was kind of on hold. But I was also working on this other project with the same respawn yarns, different colors. I had started to make these bigger granny squares and um, these three colors, I think they're very fall themed. So three colors and I just alternated the order of the colors, right? And what I kind of thought, I mentioned this in a previous video, but I thought I could make a blanket where I connect these. But if I have four, so let's see for you guys, left to right, I'm not sure. I have brown, orange, white. If I put over on that side another brown, and then on my next row, I continue the pattern. So then I would do orange, white, brown, orange, etc. I thought that would turn into a cool pattern. I'm not sure if that makes 100% sense to you guys. It did in my head, and so I, I think it's gonna look cool. So I started working on this. This is pretty much all the progress I've made because I've got too many projects happening at once. But I did all of these with my 10 millimeter cheap metal crochet hook. Great, ordered a 10 millimeter Clover Amour crochet hook. Started making my next square. And I was like, wow, this feels really nice. Also, this feels different. What feels different about this? My stitches feel looser. What's going on? Well, I just continued. I finished my second, I call it my brown square just because it's the exterior color. Well, here's what happened. I was like, this is different. Something is different. Let me compare the two. And I'm just, I'm not stretching. I'm just kind of blocking them so they're square sizes. If I match these guys up, same yarn. I am not lying to you. I would do this live for you guys, if you want proof. Look at the size difference. Can you see that? This is significantly bigger. Same yarn. And two crochet hooks that say that they're 10 millimeters. What is that about? I have watched a million crochet videos on YouTube and I've never heard anyone talk about such a thing. So I was like, what gives? Now, there's a lot of different brands. Everyone's got colored metal crochet hooks. I don't even know where I got these. I mean, the brand is on there. It says BCM Run. I'm sure I got whatever was cheap on Amazon. Somebody has an incorrect size. I don't know if you can see this. 
but they let me try let me just take a minute here can you see that this says 10 millimeters yes can you see can I see oh boy that might be harder this also says 10 millimeters okay I didn't make a mistake they both say 10 millimeters this one also says NP, which are my initials, and my title once I'm a nurse practitioner. Somebody's wrong here. And I'm going to show you guys, if you line these up, who do you think? We already know that one's bigger. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, I don't I think I can line these up in a way that you guys can see. Probably not. Maybe you think, hmm, they look the same to me. Okay? You wouldn't notice. But you'll notice when halfway through your project, nothing matches up anymore. So <laughs> I ordered more of these Clover Amora hooks. I decided I liked them. I wanted more of the bigger ones. Um, so I ordered a a kit of five, a pack of five. It was cheaper to buy a pack of five than to buy them individually. The picture on Amazon showed them all in one pack together. What I ended up getting was five individual packs. And that's fine, and I already have the 10, but I have a backup, but I wanted these. And it was actually cheaper to buy all four of these sizes I didn't have than to buy them all individually. So I ended up with an extra and it was still cheaper. Does anybody want one? I'm going to do a giveaway. Please subscribe to the channel. Comment below if you would be interested in receiving one of these. I'm going to do a giveaway, but it'll be in my next video because I have to figure out the terms. So make sure you're subscribed and I will send this to somebody. I'll send it anywhere in the world. Like this video. Comment below if you're interested. Anyway, these came, not quite sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'm happy to have them because I have decided the metal hooks are not my friends. Because they're inaccurate. So here's what I did just now when I got home. This is what I was thinking about on my hour-long drive home. I took all my hooks. By the way, I did also buy a 5mm crochet hook from Clover Amore. Um, my little rainbow granny square blanket that I'm doing that has been very popular here on YouTube. I'm using the five millimeter crochet hook. So I got out my hooks and I got my measuring tape to see who is wrong. Because when I switched with my granny squares, my little ones, no issue. Um, I think I've used both of these on my rainbow blanket. I'm pretty sure I did. No issue. The issue comes with the 10. So I got out my measuring tape. Guys, you're gonna have to take my word for this because I'm not gonna be able to hold this steady enough with these tiny lines, but I will take photos and insert photos of my findings so you can see. I measured the, is this called the neck or the shaft of the clover crochet hook? And it is absolutely perfectly 10 millimeters. Sorry, I have a little dog licking himself. Tucker, we're trying to film a video here. That's inappropriate. Thank you. This guy, generic metal crochet hook. When I measure the, you guys all know the shape of these guys. When I measure right here, the straight part of the neck or the shaft maybe. Any guesses? It's like seven, seven and a half millimeters. I would give it a seven and a half. In what world does a 10 millimeter hook measure seven and a half millimeters? Now I will tell you, you see how it's wider here where it has the letters? This is 10 millimeters. Did you guys know that? This is 10 millimeters. This is seven and a half. So, I go back to these guys. Guess what? My six millimeters crochet hook, this is six millimeters, like it says. This wider portion, 
I don't remember what it was. It's wider, but this is six millimeters. My five millimeter crochet hook, same story. This is five, this is a little wider. This makes sense in my brain. This does not. Seven and a half. Did you guys know this? Have you ever measured your crochet hooks? <laughs> I have not. I don't know why I'm getting upset about this. I think it's false advertising. So I guess lesson learned is if you want a specific crochet hook size, measure them or buy a reputable crochet hook brand. Because a five and a six might be the right size, but a 10 might not be. I don't care enough to measure all the other sizes I got in my pack, because I've kind of decided I'm not gonna use these anymore. I am team Clover Amour for now. Um, I don't use really tiny crochet hooks and yarn, um, but if I buy, if I need smaller hooks, I will buy more of these, maybe a pack of the smaller ones. Um, so I'm kind of done with those. And here's the thing. For me, it doesn't matter, necessarily. I'm making granny squares. I don't have to measure. I don't have to really count. It's more about aesthetics for me. Like these are turning out the way I want them to. This actually is also very nice. And now my dilemma is I can't decide which size I like better because I don't want to make a whole bunch more of these with my metal hooks when I just bought the nice clover ones. And I have this pack goes from six and a half up to 10, accurate 10. Although I don't have a seven and a half like this one technically measures out to. Um, so I think I'm gonna scrap these and do something else with them maybe. And continue with this larger size. I don't know, it's a little softer. I kind of like it better. So, it's a scandal, right? It's just a scandal. Measure your crochet hooks. Why would you do that? Do you measure? I'm done. I'm a nurse. I like, I'm also kind of neurotic and a perfectionist and stuff like that really bugs me. It's like, that's false advertising. If I just like fudged measurements and things like that as a nurse, there would be a problem. So. That's the end. Measure your crochet hooks. Has this happened to anybody else? It's really annoying, right? Like if you're in the middle of a project and you switch hooks and suddenly everything is going wild, you would think when they say 10 millimeters, you're going to get the same result. I can see this with my own eyeballs that the Clover Amour is significantly thicker than the cheap one. Can you guys? You can. I think you can. 10 millimeters, not the same. <laughs> I just needed a rent. It's 940, it's not too late. I wanted to be done with this video before 10. I think that's all I got. What crochet hooks do you guys like? What are your favorites? I know there's 10 bazillion of those guys. Maybe the ones you buy in the like big craft shops are more standard sizes. I never would have known, right? Um, until it mattered. Oh, that's what I was saying. Like granny squares, like it doesn't really matter. I can, as long as I'm continuing around and around and around, like it's insignificant for the sorts of projects I'm working on. But if it does matter, if you're buying certain yarn that's expensive and you have a certain, you know, it, it can matter. And so it matters. Okay, I'm done ranting. I thought this was interesting. I hope you guys did too. Um, please comment below. Let me know if you've discovered a scandal bigger than this one. I don't think such a scandal exists. Um, comment below. Let's chat. You guys have been so great. I have gotten 6,000 new subscribers in a month. I appreciate every one of you guys. I just spent like an hour yesterday responding to comments. Um, I really do read every single one and I'm trying to comment on all of them. I like having dialogue. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post like daily on Instagram and it's not just crochet things, but you get to learn a little bit more about me. So Nikas Arbata, I'll link below if you'd like to follow me there.
And I'm going to give one of these away. An actual 10 millimeter crochet hook from Clover Amour. If you want one, I don't know the rules yet. This was spontaneous. Please subscribe to the channel in my next video. My very next video after this one. So if you're seeing it a little bit later, just look at my videos. Look at the very next one. I'll do a giveaway. I'll come up with the, the rules and do a giveaway. Okay. That's it for tonight. Scandal, crochet, scandal, 2024. Now we know. The jig is up. I hope everybody's doing great, and I hope you're having a good night. Until next time, take care, guys.